Welcome back guys, so in this video I'll be showing you some gameplay of Cyberpunk 2077 version 2 running on my Windows PC that has Ryzen 3700X processor and an RTX 2070 Super GPU. It brings an overhaul to a number of gameplay mechanics and core game features such as police system and perk trees along with various fixes and improvements. There's more to come on September 26 for the owners of Phantom Liberty expansion. Yes, I have purchased this expansion pack, we'll be covering it on launch day. Just to be clear, on PC, the version 2 update is free for all owners of the base game. You can continue playing from existing saves, but the developers recommend starting a new playthrough in order to experience all of the extensive changes that they have made to the game. The developers recommend uninstalling any outdated mods in order to prevent the crashing issues. They also recommend installing the game on an SSD in order to avoid any texture streaming issue. SSD is listed under minimum requirement. This does not mean that the game won't be able to run if you install it on a normal hard drive. I was able to get it working even off an SD card. I tested the game on my Steam Deck, was surprised to see it was running at around 30 FPS with most of the settings set to medium. This update increases the game's system requirements. I'll quickly go through the recommended requirements. Processor, Core i7-12700 or Ryzen 7, 7800X CD is recommended, 16 GB of physical RAM is recommended, recommended GPUs, RTX 2060 Super, Radeon RX 5700 XT or Intel Arc A770, DirectX 12 API, 70 GB of space required, SSD recommended. The update weighs around 23.1 GB. After installing the update, game size will be around 60 GB. I'll just show you this. There's the install folder. Game size is around 58.8 GB. Just wanted to go through a few PC specific features of version 2 update. It adds support for NVIDIA DLSS 3.5, which introduces DLSS Ray Reconstruction, a feature that improves the quality of ray trace effects. A GeForce RTX GPU is required. The option is available in Settings Graphics in NVIDIA DLSS section. DLSS 3.5 is only available if Path Tracing setting is turned on. To make sure DLSS Reconstruction works correctly on your PC, update your NVIDIA Game Ready Driver to version 537.42 or anything newer than that. Just to be clear, DLSS Super Resolution and DLSS Ray Reconstruction features are available for all RTX GPUs. It's DLSS Frame Generation feature that is limited to only RTX 40 series GPU. In Cyberpunk 2077, you cannot manually enable DLSS Ray Reconstruction feature. In order to enable it, you need to switch to Overdrive Graphics preset, which makes the game very demanding on the hardware, especially the GPU. Only recommended for PCs having high-end GPUs. New feature added, AMD's SMT. SMT stands for Simultaneous Multithreading. It allows the CPU core to process two threads simultaneously. If you disable SMT, only the physical cores will be available for the game. I just keep it to auto. Ryzen 3700X has 8 physical cores and 16 logical cores. Crowd density setting has been moved from the gameplay tab to the graphics tab. Let's start the game. Red launcher. In-game gameplay setting, there's the SMT setting, I've set it to auto. Graphic setting. First, I'll just run the game using Ultra Preset, no ray tracing. I'll enable DLSS. Set it to quality. You can see DLSS ray reconstruction setting is not accessible. Game supports FSR 2.1. All effects have been enabled. High to ultra setting with the ultra preset. Retracing off. I just got to know that this game supports cross platform saves. This means you can continue your progress across different platforms like PS5, Next Gen, Xbox, and PC. Yeah, there's Night City. It's the daytime. You can see we are getting around 60 FPS. Wow, the graphics look stunning. I'll just check out the area. You can see some cops. I'll be honest guys, the game looks stunning even without ray tracing enabled. What do you think? DLSS works very nicely. The image quality is crisp. They are staring at me. The cops. What now? That cop pushed me away. So 
so now i'll just enable ray tracing ray tracing ultra preset dlss super resolution set 2 quality this is actually 66 percent render scale high to ultra settings these ray tracing effects have been enabled path tracing is still not enabled all right now the fps dropped down to around 42 gpu load increase game is consuming almost 7.5 gb of vram and increasing game looks stunning guys i can't believe it detailed character models check out the shadow quality That guy looks sad. I'll drive around the city. It's my vehicle. I'll just attack the cop. Game now supports vehicular combat. What's going on here? Has been this the car just got flipped. NPC is freaked out. It's due to the shooting. with them on foot. is using the ray tracing ultra preset now i'll be using the ray tracing overdrive preset as you can see dlss ray reconstruction setting is enabled frame generation setting is still disabled rtx 40 series gpu is required to enable this setting i'll just set everything to low under advanced section there you go i'll just scroll down loaded the same sequence and you can see guys we are getting around 24 fps hitting the gpu bottleneck i'll just set dlss to performance preset that's basically 50 percent render scale by default it was set to auto change the preset to performance there you go now we are getting around 35 fps and i'll be honest guys the picture quality looks decent even with the performance dlss preset testament to how good this technology works i'm not observing any flickering of textures I'll just drive around the city Check out the reflection quality. Stunning. I 
I angered them. Ran my vehicle into their car. If you sell, I'll just commit a crime. Draw my weapon. So in order to get the path tracing preset running on RTX 2070 Super GPU, I had to set almost every advanced setting to low and DLSS preset to performance. The game still looks pretty. Looking forward to the release of Phantom Liberty expansion. I'll end the video here guys. I hope you find it useful. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.